Hello to you and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe and if you have any questions or would like me to cover something in greater depth or cover something that I have not, please put it into the comments. Today I'm going to go over how to migrate PHP IPAM to a new server. The reasons can be many, but the obvious ones are you are going from a CentOS to a Rocky Linux. You're going from a very old version of Linux and just want a fresh new server. In light of this, I am assuming a few things here to make this work. One, you have an existing source PHP IPAM server or and or at least a copy of the source MySQL or MariaDB database in working condition. Two, you have already built a new PHP IPAM server that is running the current code release, which at this time is 1.6. And the server is in a base format, meaning no data or if in the database, or if the database does have data, you don't care that it's going to be replaced. And three, on your source server, you need to make sure that the prettified links are either on or off when you go to export. If it's set to on, your destination must also be set to uh, yes. In my case, the destination is set to that. Now, in light of that, you need to make sure that if it's not, you can recover from this. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's get started. First, let's go into our source server and get a copy of its database. So to do that, there's several ways to do that. We can actually just go here and go down to import export from PHP IPAM and actually just do a MySQL dump. And it will go straight to my document or my downloads folder. Another way to do it if you're using webmin is to go here and you can go into PHP IPAM backup database and you can download in browser and backup now. And it will take a few moments and again, it'll download it to my downloads folder. Finally, you could, if you wanted to, go to, oops, this is my PHP IPAM one to, 153. I can do it from the CLI and I can actually do another backup. Let me see here, but this will be local. So we'll call this, uh, I already have one in here. So let's see, I'll do that. And there you go. If I do an LL, I should see a one in here now. And there it is. However, you get the backup is is fine it's just you need to get a backup and we need to at some point move these backups to the new server to do that i'm going to use my this is my new server we're calling it php ipam test i'm going to actually go here I'm going to upload from here into root for right now. And I don't think I have any in here. What I'm going to do is now select file, upload. Let me grab that file. Let's see. I believe it's this one that I just downloaded. Yeah. There we go. And there it is. So I'm going to just rename that so it's a little easier. Now, to get that uploaded into our server, 
going to SSH real fast. And I'm going to do LL. And there's the file. So, what is the command to bring that in? So, the first thing I want to do is I want to put in this command to grab. So, I want to put in MySQL. Let me zoom in a little bit here. I want to use MySQL U php ipam which is the database that's already there or sorry the user and then i want that's the password command this is the database i want to dump it into and then this is the database that i just brought over and i'm going to hit enter and it should ask for my password and if i did it right i did not oh because i'm using that okay There we go. So now that that's in, I'm going to come over to this server, which is this one, and I should be able to lock in. And finally, I can do an actual, I can go over here and I can scroll down and verify the database and everything's there and I can look around my data should look the same if I look over here I can look here and I have the same right so as you can see we have successfully migrated from our old server to our new server well I hope that has made migrating php ipam to a new server a little easier for you as always i want to thank you for watching my video and as always please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover thanks and have a great day